Namaste. I'm Sage Roundtree coming to you from my studio, The Carborough Yoga Company in Central North Carolina. To help balance the relationship between the muscles in the front of the body and the muscles in the back of the body, in general, folks need to work on opening the front, opening across the heart, across the chest, expanding these muscles that tighten as we sit at desks and in car seats and on bikes and run and propel ourselves forward over the course of the day. After we've got the front open, it's useful to do some exercises to strengthen the chain on the back side of the body, and that's what this short practice will help you do. So the good news is, if you're feeling like you're curving forward and you're tight, your very first step is to watch a video that will help you open the front. Heart openers. Now to strengthen the back of the body, we'll add on cultivating uh, some strength in the back to balance with the openness that we've just created in the front. Bring yourself down to your belly. Make a little pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on your hands. We're gonna keep this as our upper body position in these first few lifts and lowers. I like it because it helps keep the chin from craning up. If you need to see, just watch and then rewind the video. Starting with just the upper body and then bringing the lower body on board one leg at a time. Feel the elbows out to the sides. Feel the forehead still connected to the hands. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, lower them down. Along the way, the whole spine is engaging. Inhale, elbows, head, hands all lift. Exhale, bring them down. Let's do three more pulses like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last time. Good, keep lifting and lowering. Now pulse the legs. Inhale, arms and left leg lift. Exhale, walk it down. Inhale, arms and right leg. Exhale, lower. Back and forth. Asking the entire back side of the body to engage and for the legs to engage one at a time. Sometimes this can feel like a mental training exercise as well as a physical training exercise. Last time on the left. Last time on the right. Come on down and rest for a few beats. You could shake your hips from left to right. If it feels good, you can flex your knees and let your entire leg slow the windshield wiper from side to side. Take both feet down to the floor. Take your hands alongside your body now. Instead of resting with the arms internally rotated, which stretches the upper back and tightens the front, let's go out, thumbs out, pinkies in, hands will be down by the sides, but they'll be lifting and lowering, both the upper and the lower body now. Take the shoulders up toward the ceiling, so we've got openness across the front of the chest. Breathe out. With a breath in, pulse yourself up. Hands, legs, heart, head, all lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Three more. Now left and hold. Shoulders are still moving up toward the ceiling and then down toward the feet. Neck is relaxed. You don't need to crane your chin forward. Remember the feeling of holding the head to the hands. Last breath. Inhale, lift just a touch higher. And then exhale, let it go. You can take your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push yourself up to hands and knees. Exhale, swivel back to child's pose. Couple breaths here, feeling the low back release that we get after the engagement that we just made. Let's ripple our way back down to our bellies. One more round of spinal extension exercises.
Start with the hands directly here underneath the shoulders. Get some length along the front of the hips. Keep the whole pelvis engaged down to the floor as we continue here. Inhale, lift your hands and your feet. Exhale, straighten your arms out to a Y position. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. If it feels good for you, you could try separating the feet out to an X position. And we're gonna swim from this X position. Take your left toes and your right fingertips down to the floor. And then switch. Keep breathing here. You can inhale to lift, exhale to lower. You can exhale to lift, inhale to lower. You can breathe in and then out. What really matters is that you're breathing. Again, it can feel like mental training exercise here to make this X touch down, touch down contralaterally. Good. Lift everything. Exhale, pull your elbows in by your sides. Let it go. Forehead to the floor or cheek to the floor. You can swivel your hips from side to side or lift your feet and let them move side to side. Take your feet back down to the floor. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your shoulders up and slide them back. Breathe out here to prepare. Breathing in, lift yourself up. Breathing out, stretch long, fingertips forward, toes together. Breathing out, pull your elbows down by your ribs, spread your legs. Breathing in, stretch long. Breathing out, pull in while the legs spread. Heels and hands together. Elbows down, feet wide. Three more. Keep your neck relaxed. Two more. Last one. Inhale, stretch long like you're diving into water. Exhale, arms back underneath the shoulders. Take it down. Inhale, push yourself up to your hands and knees. Exhale, settle to child's pose. Stay here for as long as you like to feel the release through the back. To let the breath settle, to let the heart rate settle. And including these exercises daily, even twice a day, can make a big difference in your posture, your back health. Thanks for practicing with me. Namaste.